Great art thou, O Lord, and greatly to be praised. Great is thy power, and infinite is thy wisdom. So begins chapter 1 of the Confessions of St. Augustine of Hippo, a man of such influence that, as Time magazine has observed, in each of the 16 centuries since his conversion, he has continued to exert a major intellectual, spiritual, and cultural force. However, it is not just because of a sheer gift of intellect that the writer has been so well regarded. His life journey, although in due course triumphant, mirrors that of many who stumble along life's way, hoping to find meaning to their existence. Ultimately, we love Augustine because we see ourselves in him. We relate to his struggles, his quest for purpose and understanding. And through his writings, we discover along with him the answers that he finally discovered in God. Augustine was born on November 13th in the year 354 AD to a middle-class family in Tagaste, a small town in North Africa, in the land that is now Algeria. His father, Patricius Augustinus, was a pagan, but his mother, Monica, was a devout Christian who persistently urged her faith on her children. Augustine had two siblings, a brother named Navigius and a sister whom we know from tradition as Perpetua. Although his father lacked wealth, he was active in local government. He wanted his children to have a better life, and he was quite demanding of them. He wanted Augustine to become a man of culture, but Augustine had a rebellious spirit, which caused some estrangement between father and son. Determined as she was pious, Monica was relentless in her hope that Augustine would one day dedicate himself to God, even though her pleadings often fell on deaf ears. If Augustine would not listen to her, Monica would go to the one she was certain would not refuse her, God. Augustine would later reflect on the love his mother showed through her unceasing and persistent prayers. It was an example of virtue that would remain with him the rest of his life. Although he would eventually become known as an intellectual, the young Augustine detested his lessons. Certain subjects he found to be too difficult, and others simply senseless. What on earth is the use of repeating one plus two equals three? Finding games more interesting than his education, he was thrashed repeatedly in school. Augustine mused over this later in life. 